Hey everybody, Doc Parsley here. Uh, just wanted to talk to you really quickly about our newest flavor. It is lavender, and that's the, the sleep remedy, obviously. We have apple cinnamon, and we used to have lemon lime, and we've replaced lemon lime with lavender. Unfortunately, I think a lot of people don't associate lavender with something you drink. Even though there's a lot of studies around all the benefits of the aroma of lavender and how it relaxes you, decreases anxiety, improves sleep quality, all this amazing stuff. But it just doesn't sound like something you should be drinking. However, I can tell you it is something you should be drinking. It's absolutely delicious. Everybody who tries it likes it. Give it a try. It's my personal favorite. <clears throat> and I'd also like to talk about a question that I'm commonly given or co commonly asked about our new lavender flavor. <clears throat> and the question is, doesn't, isn't lavender an endocrine disruptor? So if you don't know what an endocrine disruptor is, it basically disrupts your endocrine functions, hence the name. Uh, so when you think about uh, the BPAs in plastic, when you hear the warnings about that, that's an endocrine disruptor. Uh, the you know carpet, the fumes that come off of carpet, the fumes that come out of a new car, like all those things are endocrine disruptors. The uh, pesticides, endocrine disruptors. And specifically, uh, lavender is associated with uh, a endocrine disruption by lavender acting like the molecule estrogen. And because it behaves somewhat like estrogen in your body, it can affect your body's estrogenic pathways and therefore disrupt your estrogen, testosterone, progesterone, dihydrotestosterone um, uh, balance of all of those. The ratios of all those can be upset by having what's called a zeoestrogen or neoestrogen, which is something that acts like those molecules. Um, and obviously in men that's more problematic, it can be problematic or beneficial to women depending on their estrogen balance. And that's all true, there is research to show that. However, that, that uh, research is in actually ingesting little particles of dissolved lavender, either in a capsule formation <clears throat> or in a gel formation or even a liquid formation. Um, our product doesn't have any of that in there. A little known secret that I only learned myself when I started making um, a supplement, I never knew what it meant if they said it has natural strawberry flavoring but no strawberry. Um, what it means when you have a natural flavoring, which is our product, we have a flavor that, that smells and tastes like lavender. It doesn't actually have lavender in it. What it has is edible, it has fruits, vegetables, and edible plants and grasses that are mixed up to smell and taste like lavender. Our apple cinnamon has neither apple or cinnamon in it. Our lemon lime had neither lemon nor lime in it. But it is made from plant matter. It is GMO free. We aren't causing any sort of health problems with this. We just aren't actually giving you lavender. So hopefully that clears that up. Uh, don't have to worry about our product affecting your estrogen levels. And it's absolutely delicious, so you should try the new lavender flavor.